Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video tutorial, we are going to understand what is negative strain friction in the pile and how we can solve the numerical on it. So this is a numerical, we'll solve it later on. But let's first discuss what is a negative strain friction. So in order to understand negative skin friction, uh, we must understand what exactly is the skin friction first or positive skin friction. So basically imagine you have a pile foundation and you are applying some vertically downward load on the pile. In this case, what happens? The pile moves in the downward direction. So when the pile moves in the downward direction, what actually happens? The resistance from the soil surrounding this pile moves in an upward direction. So what exactly happens is when load is applied vertically downward, the frictional resistance is generated which is opposing this downward movement. So this type of skin friction is called as a posit uh, positive skin friction. So exactly opposite of that. So basically let's say if, if the skin friction which is acting on your soil is going vertically downward that it is sinking your pile okay so in that case that kind of skin friction is called as a negative skin friction now the question is how does negative skin friction comes in the pile so uh, for that purpose just look at this image over here so what you have you have a pile uh, on which you are applying some load QUP and because of this what is happening this pile is going in a downward direction and the positive skin friction which is being generated in this zone so which is in opposite direction to the sinking of the pile but in some cases it might happen that uh, there is some soft soil so there is let's say soft or loose sand layer that layer is there and on top of this layer you have done some filling work let's say this soil is fill was not there when the pile was installed but for some reason this fill has been brought to this place now this is a new load so because of this new load which is coming from this field this soft or loose soil will start compacting okay this there is a deformation in this soft soil so because of this deformation or this sinking of this soil there is a negative friction generated. So what it does is while this soft soil is getting compressed or getting shrink, it applies additional friction onto the pile and that friction actually tries to settle the pile, it tries to sink the pile further. So it causes additional settlement inside the pile. So this kind of friction which is vertically downward is called as negative skin friction and it is an undesirable condition you don't want this kind of negative skin friction to be generated inside the pile okay so this is what negative skin friction is so there is a definition you should remember it in case if you are studying for the exam okay so let's get back to the numerical how we can solve it so uh, let's first read the statement i'm not going to read it but uh, I'll just explain you what is the given data. So basically what you have, you have a pile group of 16 piles which are penetrating, uh, penetrating through the uh, <coughs> filled up soil of 3 meter depth, sorry. So uh, what is uh, what is this 3 meter? This 3 meter is the depth of this compressible layer. So what you see over here, this layer, this is called as a compressible layer because when this load is coming from this new additional field, this layer which is shown in the hatch portion is going to compress. So in this numerical, what is given to you is the uh, that depth of the compressible layer. Then there is a pile diameter 250 m um, 250. It should be mm actually. It should not be meter. That's my mistake. Sorry. Okay. So the pile diameter is. 250 mm uh, and uh, the pile spacing is given uh, again uh, uh, this is 0.7 yeah that's it that is fine 0.75 meter is fine uh, the cohesion of the material is given to you 18 kilo newton that is the value of c is given sometime the value of c will not be given instead of value of c 
uh, unconfined compression strength will be given that is q u you can divide that q u by 2 and you can get the value of c that is cohesion unit weight of soil is required so which is given 15 km per meter cube and we have been asked to compute the negative skin friction on the group so this is the exam numerical it came in mumbai university 2016 for 10 marks it actually very easy numerical so uh, this is all the given data i have summarized over here now uh, so far we have seen group of 12 piles we had not seen the 16 pile group so this is what 16 pile group arranged in a square pattern looks like so instead of three piles in each column you have uh, four piles that's it that's it that's the only difference so how do we calculate the negative skin friction so basically there are two steps that we have to follow we have to calculate the negative skin friction in case of an individual failure and then we have to calculate the negative skin friction in case of a block failure so let's see the first one individual failure so individual failure this is the formula q and g which is in kilonewton equals to n into p d n into c so what are these values this n is the number of piles which is given to us 16 no issue there p is the perimeter of uh, these this block so this block we can calculate the perimeter it is basically this p plus b plus b plus b that is 4 times of b dn is the depth of compressible layer which is given to us 3 meter no issue there c is the value of cohesion which is given 18 so there is nothing that we have to calculate beside the value of p so to calculate the value of b uh, what we need we need to do this so basically this value of b will be this s plus this s plus this s that is 3 times of s plus this d by 2 because s is a center to center distance so this d by 2 from here d by 2 from here so that is basically you get uh, value of p is given to us 0.75 sorry uh, 0.25 meters so these values will put into the formula we will get the value of b as a 2.5 so once you get the value of p you just have to multiply in order to determine the value of p you just have to multiply just add this b b b b b four times that is 4b you will get the value of p that is the perimeter of the block equals to 10 meters so sorry okay sorry i got a call anyways let's go ahead so uh, what will i'll do is uh, i'll just put all these values into this formula and this n is 16 p is 10 we have calculated dn is 3 we have put over here and c is 18 so once you do the calculation you get the value of qng equals to uh, 8640 kilonewton of course the skin friction is calculated in terms of kilonewton so this is how you get the uh, first step uh, skin friction in case of individual failure now what we'll do we'll go to the second step skin friction in case of block failure so this is a given data this p i have just put over here we have just calculated uh, value of gamma is 15 these are required in the formula so i have just put them over here uh, by the way this gamma is already given so so this is a formula for negative skin friction in case of block block failure so it is just a similar formula but in addition to these additional term okay so we already know the p dn c gamma is known to us dn is known to us so almost all the values are known the only thing which is unknown over here is ag what is this ag this that this ag is the area of this block so as it is a square arrangement that means this value is p over here and this side is also b so the area of the, the cross area of the block will be ag that is b square b into b so if it is a rectangular so it will be let's say b into d whatever but as it is a square it will be b square so b you have already calculated 2.5 so just 2.5 square gives you 2.65 meters square and we just put all the values into this formula so this p is 10 dn is 3 c is 10 gamma is 15 dn is 3 again ag we have just calculated this value 6.25 so i have put that value over here so once you do the calculation you get q and g equals to 
821.25 kilo newton. Okay, that's it. It's very easy for the 10 lakhs. Now, what is happening? Now, we have got two values. Two values in two different cases. In case of individual failure, you have got value 8640 kilo newton. In case of block failure, you have got the value 821.25 kilo newton. So, which one of these is your final answer? So, your final answer is the bigger value. Why the bigger value? Because as it is undesirable condition, you want your pile to be uh, in a maximum distress condition. So, you choose the bigger value. So, whatever is the bigger value out of these two, which in this case is 8640 kilonewton, will be your final answer for the screen fiction. So, that's it in this numerical. What we'll do in next numerical, we'll uh, cover another topic called as a pile group efficiency. Uh, till then, you guys take care.